Let's say you want to swim across a flowing river from one bank to the other to a point exactly straight across on the other side. Most of us know from experience that if you swim in a direction straight across the river, you will end up on the other bank some distance downstream due to the current in the river. Here we see your net velocity vector relative to the river bank will be equal to the vector sum of your swimming velocity, which is perpendicular to the river bank, and the river's current, which is parallel to the bank. Let's look at a simpler example where the velocity vectors are collinear. Imagine a train traveling along a set of straight railroad tracks at a constant speed of 9 meters per second relative to an observer at rest on the ground. On the train is a passenger who is walking forward toward the front of the train with a speed of 2 meters per second relative to the train. The ground-based observer would see the passenger moving in the same direction as the train with a speed of 11 meters per second relative to ground due to the passenger's walking velocity and the train velocity adding together. A useful technique for dealing with relative velocity problems is to keep track of the different velocity vectors by using a system of subscripts. Let's define the following symbols for our train example. V sub PT will be the velocity of the passenger relative to the train, which is positive 2.0 meters per second. V sub TG is the velocity of the train relative to the ground, which is positive 9.0 meters per second. And V sub PG is the velocity of the passenger relative to the ground, which is equal to positive 11 meters per second. In terms of the symbols, the following vector equation must be true. The velocity of the passenger relative to ground must be equal to the velocity of the passenger relative to the train plus the velocity of the train relative to the ground. Each velocity vector symbol contains a two-letter subscript. The first letter in the subscript refers to the object that is moving, and the second letter refers to the object relative to which the motion takes place. For example, V sub TG and V sub PG are the velocities of the train and passenger measured relative to the ground respectively. The ordering of the subscript symbols follows a definite pattern that can often assist in correctly constructing the vector equation for relative velocity problems. In our equation above, the first subscript on the left side is also the first subscript on the right side, and the second subscript on the left side is the last subscript on the right side. The third subscript, in this case t, is the inner subscript on the right side that bridges the other two together. While this vector equation was written explicitly for the simple collinear example of the passenger walking along the train, it is also valid for two-dimensional motion. Let's go back to the river, but this time instead of swimming, we'll pilot a small boat with an engine and try to travel straight across the river. If the water in the river were not moving, then the boat would travel straight across to the other side. However, if the river was flowing left to right and the boat's engine was turned off, the boat would float straight down the river along with the current. Thus, with both the river flowing and the boat's engine running, the net motion of the boat will be along the vector sum of the two velocities in this case in a diagonal direction. The following list gives the three velocity vectors important for this motion. First we have V sub BW, which is the velocity of the boat relative to the water, and V sub WS, which is the velocity of the water relative to the shore, and finally V sub BS, which is the velocity of the boat relative to the shore. The following vector equation correctly describes the boat's motion. Vector V sub BS is equal to vector V sub BW plus vector V sub WS. Notice how the ordering of the subscripts works out to give the net velocity vector of the boat relative to the shore. Let's say we are told the velocity of the boat relative to the water is 2.0 meters per second, and the velocity of the water relative to the shore is 4.0 meters per second, and we want to find the velocity of the boat relative to the shore, both magnitude and direction. Since the vectors V sub BW and V sub WS are perpendicular to each other, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the magnitude of V sub BS. We find the magnitude is equal to 4.5 meters per second. The direction of the boat relative to the shore is given by the angle theta. From the figure we see that tangent theta is equal to the magnitude of V sub BW over the magnitude of V sub WS. Solving, we find the angle is equal to 27 degrees. One final note on relative velocity in chapter 3. While the velocity of object A relative to object B is V sub AB, and the velocity of object B relative to object A is V sub BA, this is also equal to minus V sub AB. Thus, if two cars are traveling on the highway in opposite directions, and both with a speed of 25 meters per second, then the relative speed of the first car to the second will be 50 meters per second, and the relative speed of the second car to the first will be minus 50 meters per second.